five minutes. It's like my mother is good to eat. Have a bird's nest. Here we go. Okay guys, so I wanted to show you my outfit for today. For today, for work, um, loafers are from Old Navy, the slacks are from H&M, the belt is H&M, the turtleneck is H&M. Wearing all black today, I wanted to channel my inner black look, I don't know. It's also cold in Texas, so I'm trying to wear warm, but at the same time, be stylish. Um, I love to play around, especially this is like my first office job, so I want to take advantage of that and like build my wardrobe as well, learn how to you know kind of like dress grown I love it I, I really love it it's comfortable these slacks are so comfortable they're from H&M totally recommend so comfortable but anyways that's my outfit for today how are you feeling <laughs> feeling great today's the grad fair we've got all our nice little box here you know for the grads to take a photo and then we've got our nice little wagon ready to go downstairs we got a swag on let's go yay go cardinals Woo! good morning what is happening this morning uh today we're going to have our graduation fair Congrats, ah! we love to Woo! see it yeah. how are you feeling this morning are you feeling great yeah. Porque vamos a celebrar todos que van a graduar en diciembre. Woohoo! Love to see it. Hi now. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Are you excited for the grad fair? I am. I'm going to participate as well. Yeah, we love that. So cool. Cheers. Looks like so today we're at an Ethiopian restaurant and we're eating. There's injera bread. Um, here's our meat combo and the vegetables all around. It smells good. It's nice and warm. Um, I just want me to like, you know. One of our traditions occasionally is to come have Ethiopian food. We love it. We used to get it delivered sometimes, but it got cold on the way, so there's nothing like eating it actually in the restaurant. We love the bread, it's a fun experience holding with your hands, and the flavors are awesome. We've got chicken and beef and lamb. Yummy, let's yeah. dig in. Hey guys, so I'm gonna vlog this weekend because this weekend's supposed to be a fun weekend. We're going out of town, so it's been very hectic. Like these weeks have been so hectic. And I know that I say it a lot, but they've been like emotionally and physically costing in terms of I just get tired and plus daylight savings just happens. So the sun is going down much more earlier than usual. And the sun is coming up much more later. My sleep schedule is thrown off. Work is getting to the point where I'm no longer in training. I'm more like in action. Like I'm taking appointments next week which is crazy and it's just yeah so anyways we're gonna have this weekend for fun we're gonna go to dallas my boyfriend has a tournament a water polo tournament so it's gonna be fun times good times and we're just yeah i'm gonna bring you guys with me so i need to pack right now because we have not packed and we need to leave as in like an hour ago so i just got off work early i need to pack and hit the road yeah For like a big company in Dallas. Yeah. I can't. Yeah. I know. I wish I had. We had not. Come At the to light, Dallas. you're gonna turn left. I wish we had not come to Dallas. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we would have just stayed in our musty, dusty. You're gonna turn yeah. left here. Right. <laughs> Stay in our musty, dusty. Um. <laughs> it's definitely better. Nice, love to see a shower. Nice, nice full body mirror for here. But. Oh, this should be.
what you order. Eggs Benedict. Every week they do a different one, and this week they have it with what do they have? Chicharrones. Salsa. Microgreens. Pork belly. Very decadent. Yeah. Favorite. His husband owns a power wash. Where you going? Power wash. Okay, so this is this week's harvest. Let me show you guys this butterhead. So gorgeous. Look at that. Beautiful. A wonderful harvest. There we go. Wow. Okay. Guys, today I'm officially relaxing my hair. It's been nice being natural, but I can go into detail why I'm relaxing it. But this is me before the relaxer. So let's go do it. Um, okay, so, and this is me after. This is me um, post relaxer. Um, I don't know how to feel. I mean, I feel good. I like my hair. Um, I think that it looks interesting. I've never, you know, had like a sleep press before because pretty much that's what I got. Um, my hair is thin, but... It's been a very tough week. I've been sick all week. Ever since we got back from Dallas, I got a cold. Um, it's been tough trying to go to classes. It's also like towards like Thanksgiving, the holidays, so the, the, the semester is about to end. So it's like wrapping up all these assignments, finals is coming, first week of December. So I'm like, <coughs> so I'm like constant, constantly battling sickness, showing up for work, doing my assignments. Just, I felt like everything was all just coming at once. New week, uh, I got tested last week for strep and COVID and it came back negative. But I feel like it was too early because it was like maybe the third day I was really sick. So maybe like, I don't know, but I'm gonna go again sometime this week to just make sure I don't have that. <sighs> and then kind of like prepare for finals. Um, so other than that, the, the new thing is that I went to go relax my hair yesterday and it feels very weird because my hair was long, just below my shoulders, but I had so many split ends and my hairstylist cut the split ends, which granted, if it's not serving me, let's just cut it off. But yeah, I won't be doing no braids no more. Guys, do you know how much braids, braids have gone up? Like I used to get my hair done every month, one and a half month, and I had a new hair uh, style or braid, whatever. And that used to be doable for me to get my hair done every single month like that. Um, but everybody's raising their prices, of course inflation, which I totally get, but it's just like doable. Or it is doable, but I mean, I would have to sacrifice other things to do that. And I never want to sacrifice anything. And plus having natural hair is just absolutely exhausting. Like I cannot be waking up 30 minutes earlier so I can comb my afro and do what I need to do. Like, no, I would rather be sleeping that 30 minutes. So um, just that. And the fact that okay, we're thinking, I'm also like tired. If I cannot wear my hair, Hair like this granted it looks weird but I mean I'm just gonna put it in a ponytail and go on about my day honestly it's not like I'm gonna just rock this bob I look like somebody's auntie but the, the point of the matter is if I could not wear my hair out my natural hair out for too long without getting frustrated before going to my next hair appointment so the point was to hide my hair quote-unquote and I'm like, if I cannot wear my hair out and not necessarily be proud in it, but enjoy my hair, then what's the point? The nice thing about having relaxed hair is that I can have my hair out. Like I woke up this morning and I just, cause it was all like wrapped in a bowl. Cause my stylist told me like to keep it straight, just like wrap it up in a bowl. But I didn't do that for my nap and that's why it did this. But the point of the matter is you just get up and go i can do like a nice little slicked back ponytail get up and go like this will take me what five minutes on to the next but anyways i felt a bit sad when i was relaxing it because all those natural curls were mine they were real it was untouched but at the same time i was like okay hey, i'm so over it so anyways that's the tea today's sunday gonna make fondue because it's so cold outside 
and it will feel very nice on my throat oh and another big thing that i've decided is that i am off instagram now i don't know if i'm actually going to delete it forever or just deactivate it but at the moment i'm private i'm i've deleted the app so if you send any dms your girl is not seeing them because i am done instagram is so superficial to me it's it's the same feeling I've been having for a long time. Whereas I like TikTok. TikTok is very playful and it's very informational as well. I find it as a little bit of like a video format of Google because any question you have, you have different people giving their opinions on whatever. So I won't be on Instagram. I will be on YouTube and I will be on TikTok. So I'll be constantly posting there. Other than that, I we're working. Uh, yeah. I have another video where we talk because next year is gonna be monumental next year is going to be the year that sets up the next few years for me just the same thing about planning if you plan accordingly everything is gonna work out the way it's supposed to so I might bring you guys along to my planning sessions but long story short I I think I'm gonna go to grad school whether it's law school or grad school we can talk about it in the next video but that's definitely in the works it's Sunday I gotta go watch Married to Medicine and Real Housewives of Potomac so but otherwise okay I just finished my last final and I love that for me to finishing my first finals at Incarnate Word three semesters to go until I graduate love that for me I hope I can open this right here we go Perfect. Shampoo. I could make myself a mimosa, but I don't even have orange juice. Cheers to my first semester. Um, done. Cheers. <laughs> With me and my wine glass. Oof. Yeah, I know. All right, so now I'm gonna clean this apartment because it looks like a hot mess and it looks like a pigsty. So that, yeah, I'm done with finals. Cheers to my first semester.